Hello everyone, Jonas here from Jonas Tries Anything. Today is our first day of my five day water fast experiment. Um, I will be taking um, biometric measurements, my arms, my chest, my waist, my hips, and I will also be weighing myself and see how much I currently weight. And that will serve as a benchmark um, between now and after five days um, when I end my five day water fast. All right, day one, the way in, I have an underwear and a short pant, and this will be included in the weight as well as the weight of the cell phone. Okay, let's see here. The 162.2. Just try it again for safe measure. Yes, 162.2. And that is my benchmark weight for this five day water fast. All right, I'll give an update soon. All right, we'll be taking the benchmark measurements for our for the hips the waist the chest and the um, biceps or the arms all right let's start here with the hips it's about 34 and a half inches here in the Stomach region, so uh, 35 inches. And do the chest here. Chest is um, 37 inches. And then let's do the biceps here, and the, the arms. Okay, here's the inches here. Wrap it around. See, I got, I got about 15 and a half, um, 15 and a half inches. All right, so that's our benchmark measurements for the upper body. And we'll see, we'll check after five days when I complete this five day water fast experiment to see if there are any changes within my body um, measurements. All right, see you then. Front view, side view, back view, right side view, front view. Hello everyone, Jonas here. This is end of day one in our five day water fast. Um, I've only been drinking water all day. This is a one gallon um, water jug that I've just been drinking all day. Um, there was a um, slight sign of um, hunger around 2 p.m. today and I drank water um, 30 minutes, 45 minutes after that, um, the hunger went away. So we'll see how I sleep tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow and day Hello two. Hello everyone, Jonas yeah. here. Just giving you an update. This is day two of my five day water fast experiment. Um, last night, surprisingly, I was able to sleep pretty good. Um, I only woke up one time to drink water. And after that, I was able to go back to sleep. I did not feel hungry, um, which was very surprising for me um, for not eating, you know, any meal for one whole day. And today I'm going to do a weigh in. I won't take any body measurements. I'm going to do that in day five, but I'm going to do a daily weigh in to see if the weight is going down 
I understand that in the first couple days, um, the rapid weight loss is attributed to the water loss and not the actual fat loss. So we'll see here where we're at and I'll give you an update on the progress. Hello everyone, Jonas here, day two, the way in. Let's see how much we've lost. 158.6. Let's try it again just to be sure. One fifty eight point six. All right, that's day two weigh in, and I'm gonna weigh in tomorrow. Let's see where we're going with this um, five day water fast. Hello, everyone. This is end of day two. Um, I got really hungry around five thirty to six p.m. today, and really made my stomach boil. So I drank more water. I also drank um, um, apple cider diluted in uh, water and that helped calm the acid in my stomach. And yeah, this is end of day two. Give you an update tomorrow. Hello everyone, Jonas here. Um, we are officially at day number three of this five day water fast. Um, yesterday, um, around 6 p.m., I got very, very hungry for like an hour. Um, I still have to research um, what caused that. And as I said in my other video, I did drink apple cider vinegar diluted in water, in one cup of water. Um, to neutralize the acidity of my stomach. And again, I, I did not take any um, Tom Toms or any, anything like that because that's gonna introduce sugar, which would break the fast. Um, today we're gonna do the weigh in and see where I'm at on this um, weight loss um, experiment and see where it goes. All right, the weigh in. Okay, 156.6. Go ahead and try it again just for safe measure. One, 156.6. Hello, everyone. Jonas here. This is the third day around 6 30 p.m. Just giving you an update on my five day water fast. I actually feel like I have a lot of energy today. So I went ahead and did some ab exercises, um, crunches, sit-ups. I also did a 15 minute treadmill walk and I feel great. I don't know what's causing this. I have to research this and I will share that um, research findings with you guys on a separate video. Hello everyone. Day three has officially ended. Um, I feel great. I don't feel hungry at all. Um, I did drink apple cider vinegar to prevent, uh, diluted with water to prevent my stomach from boiling. I also diluted salt in water and I drank that as well just to um, replenish the electrolytes in my body and not get dehydrated. Um, again, this is end of day three. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my video log for day four. Hello everyone, Jonas here. This is officially the fourth day of this five day water fast experiment. I actually slept pretty good last night and I feel like I have a lot of energy today. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, proceed with the weigh in and see how much I weigh now. All right, the way in. 155.4. Let's try it again. 
155.4. Alrighty. Hello everyone, Jonas here. Just giving a midday update on my five day water fast. I'm on day four. I'm just here in my basement working. Um, cognitive function is pretty good. I don't have any lags or anything like that. Um, body motor coordination is also good. Um, I'm able to drive just fine. You know, picked up my kids from school. No issues there, which is great. I actually feel energized today. I actually feel full, which I'm surprised because my stomach is empty. Um, again, as I said in my third uh, day video, that I will do some research and I'm gonna share those findings with you guys on a different video. And I'm gonna go into detail on, you know, what happens in the first, you know, uh, 12 hours, 24 hours and so forth and what causes the body to not feel hungry um, even though I'm fasting for a prolonged period of time. All right, so that's my update. Uh, it's about 3.30 p.m. today, Mountain Standard Time. Um, so yeah, thank you and see you in the next video. Hello everyone, Jonas here. Um, update on Day four, this is end of day. I have survived four days without food now. I did drink um, apple cider with salt diluted in water um, just to help with the electrolytes as well as to calm down my um, stomach acid um, from boiling. And aside from that, I I got really hungry around 6.30 p.m. because uh, my wife and I were watching uh, Food Travel Channel. <laughs> um, and, you know, just can't help getting hungry looking at those good food. So, yes, this is end of day number four. And I will see you guys tomorrow on day number five. Hello everyone, Jonas here, officially on day number five of this five-day water fast experiment. Uh, last night, I slept quite okay, woke up a couple times, not because I was hungry, but because the room was getting hot. Um, I had to turn on the AC, and after that, I was able to go back to sleep. Um, this morning, uh, no signs of hunger um, I'm not craving for anything so we're gonna go on with the uh, weigh in and see how much I weigh on day number five all right the weigh in on day number five the final day let's turn this baby on all right let's see how much I weigh 154.2 okay let's do it one more time one fifty four point two alrighty hello everyone midday update um everything's still going um, I am not feeling hungry at all. I'm just drinking my water and I don't have any stomach acid reflex or anything like that. So that's a great sign. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the end of day uh, vlog. Hello everyone, Jonas here. Officially end of day number five. Um, it was a great experiment. I can't believe I was able to survive five days without eating anything. I did drink water um, and I also drank um, in the third day and the fourth day I did drink apple cider vinegar diluted with water and I also threw in a teaspoon of salt um, just to keep the electrolytes up so that I don't get dehydrated. And yeah, it was a great experience. I had a lot of energy from the third 
to the fifth day and no fatigue, no dizziness at all. Um, and I was able to function just like normal. So it was a very interesting experiment. Um, as I said in my previous videos, I'm gonna do some research on why that was the case, why I had so much energy. And I will share that with you guys in another video. And I will go into details what happens, you know, in the first 12 hours, 24 hours and so forth. And what could I have done better? And what, what could have I prepared for before going into a prolonged fasting just like this? So I will share that with you guys so that you guys will also have that information. Hello everyone, Jonas here, and this is my research finding on what happens to your body when you fast for 5 days. Before we move on, just a disclaimer here, I am not a licensed health professional, nor am I giving professional advice in this video. I am just sharing my personal experience as I went through this experiment. I am also not accountable for any risks or safety issues if you do try this experiment. If you are looking to try out prolonged fasting, please consult your physician before doing so. With that said, let's move on with our discussion. What did I consume during the fast? Water, water, water. A lot, a lot of water. I've also incorporated apple cider vinegar by diluting two teaspoons in one glass of water from days two through five. I did this to calm down my stomach acid because um, I have hyperacidity. Um, I've also incorporated Himalayan pink salt by diluting one teaspoon of it in a glass of water from days three through five. This was to replenish my electrolytes and to prevent um, dehydration. What did I consume to break the fast? water and a lot of water as well as hard-boiled eggs i went with eggs because they are easy to digest and they are delicious and also easy to prepare we have here our definitions autophagy literally means self-eating but this is self-eating at the cellular level okay this is when the body detects that there's no food intake so it looks into itself and looks for you know damaged cells or any materials that are lying around that were not used and it starts to reuse and recycle those materials to sustain the body and to rebuild um, any damaged parts of the body the body becomes less wasteful in a sense um, glycogen is a form of glucose. This is the main source of energy that our body stores primarily in the liver and the muscle. Um, we derive or we get this glycogen from the carbohydrates that we eat. Um, glucose, um, same as blood sugar or the main sugar that's found in your blood. Definitions continued here. We have BDNF or brain derived neurotrophic factor. This gene is responsible for producing proteins that are found in the brain and the spinal cord. This protein promotes the survival of nerve cells or neurons by playing a role in the growth, maturation or differentiation and the maintenance of these cells. So when you fast, uh, BDNF levels goes up and that helps um, your brain creating more neurons and um, those neural links um, gets created which also promotes you know enhancements in memory um, memory retention and cognitive function 
HGH or human growth hormone. As the name suggests, this is the hormone that's responsible for the growth regulation during childhood. But this is also triggered um, during fasting. Ketones are fatty acids that are released from the liver. Um, this happens when the body detects that the insulin levels are low. The body then triggers the liver to pr uh, produce ketones um, as a source of energy. Okay, um, ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone found in the stomach or produced in the stomach, and it signals the brain that the stomach is empty and it's time to eat. Uh, ghrelin levels increase between mealtimes and decrease when your stomach is full. So basically, just a short temporary reminder that the body needs food. Syndrome X is a clustering of problems associated with insulin or hyperinsulinemia. And this is basically a grouping of diseases that can cause um, obesity, um, high central distribution of fat, hypertension, and so forth. We have WBC or white blood cells. These are our body's immune system or the soldiers that fight um, diseases and infection. Okay, there are different types of uh, white blood cells, um, and you can see that here in the list. Next is HSC or hematopoietic stem cells. These are immature cells that can develop into all types of blood cells, including white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Okay, so these, are, these cells are found in the peripheral blood and in the bone marrow. So during fasting, um, HSC levels um, goes up as well, and that also promotes um, your immune system by producing more white blood cells to um, fight infections and also to replenish red blood cells, which helps bring oxygen and nutrients and as well as taking um, waste materials away from your organs. Um, and again, as a result of that, it makes your body functions better and healthier. Homeostasis is a state of balance among all body systems. This is needed for the body to survive and to function correctly. All right, with the definitions done, let's go ahead and go with our biometric measurements. Here's the before and after ones. Um, starting um, weight is 162.2 pounds, and the weight after the experiment was 154.2 pounds. As you can see here, day one to two, um, drastic reduction of weight um, that was attributed to water loss. And from days three through five, it's about a pound a day um, decrease. And it's, it was pretty steady as well. Um, same with my biometric measurements for the hips, waist, chest, and arms. Um, as you can see here, um, there was a decrease um, be between the before and after as well. Um, day one, the first 24 hours, nothing really changed. Um, glycogen and glucose level, um, they, they go down. And once the body detects this, um, the term for that is metabolic flexibility. Um, basically, when your body switch from one energy source to another, um, that's called metabolic flexibility. So as the glycogen and glucose live, levels go down, um, the body starts to um, produce more ketones from the liver, and when that energy is used, then it starts to break down uh, fat. On day number two, or the first 48 hours, ketone levels goes up. Autophagy also goes up. HGH and BDNF levels goes up as well. Um, at this point of time, insulin level is at its lowest. And when insulin level is low, um, we have positive um, effects to that. Um, 
the first one is it reduces inflammation. So if you have any inflamed part of your body um, that would basically decrease the inflammation and thus reducing pain and infection. And it also reduces syndrome X, which we described earlier as the clustering of bad um, bad things that's happening in your body. Um, ghrelin levels goes up. This is the hunger signal, but this is just temporary. And that was, that was the reason why on day number two, I got really hungry um, later on the day and, you know, I drank water and uh, 30 to 45 minutes later, um, I was not hungry at all. So here was my answer to that question that I posted in the video. It was grilling. All right, day number three or the first 72 hours, autophagy goes deeper, more cleanup of debris and waste. Um, the body detects misfolded proteins. It takes those and breaks those apart and then reuse those proteins and amino acids. And the body also detects any low quality cells. As we know, um, cancer cells uh, are made from defective or mutated cells. So we could say that um, fasting will help um, prevent cancer by breaking down those mutated cells or defective cells before they can even turn into cancer cells. Um, there are research out there that I have read about this. And again, if you want to do your own research, please feel, feel free to do so. Um, H SC or hematopoietic stem cells regeneration and rejuvenation also kicks in and produces more white blood cells or immune cells. And on day four, or the first 96 hours, autophagy goes even deeper. It means it cleans the body and the waste. It goes in there and searches for um, it's folded proteins and any of those low quality cells and it breaks them down and the body will reuse them. Same with the HSC, um, it also increases um, at a higher level. On day number five or the first 120 hours, um, autophagy continues and it just keeps doing what it's doing. Same with the HSC um, regeneration and rejuvenation. Um, on day number five, um, an increase in fat burning also happens. This is because the ketones that were produced in the liver is now getting depleted and your body is craving for an energy source. So the body says, hey, no more ketones from the liver. I need energy. Oh, I can derive that key, those ketones from stored fat, and I'm going to start attacking um, fat cells, okay? And if you are wanting to go into weight loss, um, again, fasting will do this for you. Um, it also resets old cell set points or homeostasis. So cells, when they're created, they are designed to do specific functions, specific tasks and specific things and sometimes those um, cells might go out of programming in a, in a way and when when those cells don't perform the way they were programmed to do so that means the body um, is, will not function the way it was designed to function um, on day number five the resetting of the cell set points or homeostasis um, starts to occur. And that basically tells the cells to uh, function the way they were designed or supposed to. Um, as a positive benefit of that, your body becomes healthier because the cells are working the way they were supposed to. All right, so for me, the key takeaways for this ex from this experience was I got to know my body much better. I got to know, you know, when I got, get hungry, what things I could do to address the, the hunger, 
and as well as it also strengthened my mind by you know increasing self control and self discipline uh, there were times where you know my wife was eating and she's like hey you know just eat and there were times that my kids were eating pizza and i was drooling and i've overcame the temptations um by you know making my mind stronger um, as the saying goes uh, mind over matter that is really true um so i get to know my mind as well um in this experience um weight loss of course is a is a given um i've i've lost weight almost 10 pounds in the course of five days um body regeneration and rejuvenation i felt really great um the, the fact that i've accomplished something that not a lot of people would want to do um I, so my brain released a lot of endorphins or the happy um, hormones and i was really happy that i done this um i also felt that my body um is able to um face um prolonged hunger and prolonged um fasting and it's able to uh, accommodate that so i'm pretty happy with that and the last thing here on my list is i saved some money because instead of you know spending the money to buy the food or to go to a fast food res restaurant i've also um save money by not doing those activities all right everyone thank you for your love and support uh, this is jonas again i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel um hit that like button give it a thumbs up and also hit the uh, notification bell icon so that you're gonna get notified for new videos coming up soon in my next experiments thank you so much and have a great day